Hello, I am Aaron Sutherland, and I am a SUSE certified instructor. In this video, I would like to show you the different learning paths we have available on our e-learning site. With more than a dozen learning paths available to meet your educational needs, we have topics such as HA, SAP, SUSE Manager, and more. To get started, we log into the e-learning site and navigate to the content library. Once on the content library page, you select the box for learning paths. The list on the right shows all the different learning paths that are currently available. We can narrow down the list by selecting one of the filters in the topics section. Here, when I select the topic, we can see the number of learning paths available for the topic. Let's take a look at each of the topics to see what the contents of each learning path look like. Here, I click on the topic, SLE High Availability. And you can see this shows me there are two learning paths available. When I click on the title of the learning path, we can see a list of modules. And these include topics such as the High Availability Extension, Cluster Administration Tools, Cluster Resource Management, Cluster Access Control Lists, Cluster Health Checks, Monitoring and Troubleshooting, Cluster Backup and Recovery, How to Update and Patch the HA Cluster and Cluster Resources, and then finally at the bottom we have our Reference Documents. Let's take a look at one of the videos. Use Access Control Lists. So as an overview of Access Control Lists, or ACLs, Access Control Lists enable the delegation of cluster privileges to non-privileged users. So as a reminder, in Hawk and CRM, all actions may be carried out by default by members who are by either the root user or members of the HA client group. So again, by default, if you're root or if you're a member of the HA client group, you can do all things via Hawk or via the CRM command. Now let's go back and see what kinds of topics we have in the other learning path under SLE High Availability. So we'll navigate back to that page, click on SLE High Availability, here we can see our other learning path titled Deploying and Administering SUSE Linux Enterprise High Availability for versions 12 and 15. Again, clicking on the title of the learning path will show me a list of all the different modules, which include things like Introduction to SUSE Linux HA, Cluster Implementation Requirements, Cluster Node Preparation, how to deploy a cluster, administrating the HA cluster, split brain avoidance, cluster resources, controlling cluster behavior using constraints, managing cluster resources, access control lists, basic HA troubleshooting, and finally our course materials. We'll scroll up here and we'll start one of the videos. In this topic, we'll have a look at resource types. Resource types. We have a primitive, a group, a clone, and a multi-state. We have a little screen dump there in Hawk, where we've gone in and under configuration, we've selected add a resource, and listed are the resource types. This is just a small portion of the type of content you can expect to see as you follow along in our learning path. From here, we'll just navigate back to our main screen to show our learning paths. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please feel free to reach out to me should you have any questions. And have a great day.